We've got thousands and thousands of customers, all very similar pictures to this. And you can see that all of them have something in common. They all have big smiles on their face with a big thumbs up, many of them in front of their walk-in bathtub uh, because they had one installed, they're excited about it, uh, they think it's going to really benefit them. And your customer is going to be able to look at that and say, hey, that looks like me or that looks like my bathroom and start to identify and take ownership of a walk-in bathtub. It's important to understand the history of walk-in bathtubs. Premier Care and Bathing is really the grandfather of walk-in bathtubs. Because they were the pioneer, we all learned from them because there were some things they did well and some things they didn't do so well. One thing that you can identify in this particular slide is the height of the threshold. Now, if you needed a walk-in bathtub back when Premier Care was the only option, this was still a great option because you can hold on to the decking of the tub uh, and get in and out fairly safely. This is a Premier Care walk-in tub without the tub skirt on that was uninstalled. You can see that we've got some rust happening down here. Uh, this is a galvanized steel frame, which is okay However, galvanized steel still rusts, um, so we want to find a frame that's a little bit better than that. Stainless steel, that's what our units have on them. We'll talk about that in a slide upcoming. Adjustable feet are extremely important. This is what keeps a walk-in bathtub level. Without a walk-in bathtub being level, there can be a leak that develops uh, in the base of the door and the very lowest part of the door, it, it will drip if these feet are not level. That can happen when customers get in and out, in and out of the walk-in bathtub. The old Premier Care had a pretty flimsy foot on there and it's made them really prone to leaking. You want a very substantial uh, adjustable foot on the walk-in bathtub. It further had problems with not having arthritis-friendly faucets. Um, these uh, control valves were pretty hard to turn. The hand shower came out of the, out of the tub faucet itself. Uh, the lever to close the door was a little bit bulky and uncomfortable, difficult to close. And then, of course, uh, this was your drain. It, uh, this big chain hooked to a plug drain and you had to just pull that out when you were done bathing. This was susceptible to rust and uh, breaking, so that was pretty scary for a few customers. They had some lawsuits on that. Thankfully, that has been addressed uh, with all major walk-in bathtubs today. This is a contract from Premier Care. This is back in 2010, October of 2010, and you can see that a tub was selling for $19,000 way back then, and they were selling this very tub that we just took a look at for $19,000. However, if you have the need, if your customer has the need for a walk-in bathtub, and they a walk-in bathtub would help would help them avoid family member assisted bathing avoid caregiver assisted bathing, they would give $19,000 for this very walk-in bathtub because they had the need. They wanted to remain independent and with dignity. What happens when bathing becomes difficult? This is more need development. Uh, many of your customers you're going to find have safety bars installed. They've placed a chair in the uh, tub. That's not great for hygiene. Um, your water, is not, water level is not coming up above your waist. That can be a real issue for a lot of our customers. Falls and accidents can happen. You're going to run into a lot of customers where falls and accidents have happened, and that's why they've started resorting to splash baths, um, which is just a bath in the sink. They're kind of washing up a little bit instead of getting in and out of their tub because of the fear of falling. And then that continues to progress to family-assisted, caregiver-assisted, selling their house and going to assisted living, 
be moving to a child's house, going to the nursing home, all of those sort of things. And again, this is really about need development. If you haven't hit it yet, uh, this is a good place to hit it. And it's a good place to, to talk about it once again, that we're really trying to take care of things in the early stages so that they don't have to place a chair in there. They don't have to worry about accidents and falls. They're not going to have to move into splash baths and then the following. Falling down is, the, is one of the top reasons to enter a nursing home, and the bathroom has most falls than any other spot in the house. So this is the highest percentage of falls than anywhere else. Why is that? The bath, getting in and out of the bathtub, you've got water, slick porcelain, um, confined space, and it's one of the places that has the highest percentage of injury-related falls. If you fall out in your yard, you may not be injured on your uh, living room carpet in a wide open space, you may not be injured, but in the bathroom, it is a scary place um, to have a fall or to fear, fear of falling. Trouble bathing is another top reason people enter the nursing home. They just uh, begin to have hygiene issues, infections, um, the f again, fear of falling, getting in and out of the tub, and they decide, you know what, this isn't worth it. I'm going to go to assisted living. I'm going to go to a nursing home. I'm going to have family come in and help me bathe, so on and so forth. A walk-in tub does address both of these issues. Um, it has a much higher um, <clears throat> threshold for water. So it's a 38 to 40 inch tall um, a bathtub with a very low step in. And their current water height, of course, is at 14 inches. It's not coming up above it's not coming up above their waist, but with a walk-in bathtub, it, it is going to come up well above their waist and pr promote better hygiene, more independence, more dignity. An average nursing home cost, this is really what people want to avoid. This is what you are helping your customer avoid, is this, uh, this scene right here. It oftentimes takes every dime that a person has, puts them on Medicaid, state-assisted aid, and they're really unable to, uh, to do much of anything. And the independence and dignity really go out the window. So we want to keep people at home as long as possible. We believe that a walk-in bathtub will do that. Uh, it's really up to us to help our customers see that a walk-in bathtub can help them avoid a nursing home. Is doing nothing an option? So one option is going to the nursing home. Another is having the children come in and help you out. Another is doing nothing. Maybe, you know, they're just can't make up their mind. They don't know if they want to walk in tub. They don't want to know if they're going to go to a nursing home. What is really the issue? And if we make it this obvious, customers will say resounding no. You know, doing nothing is not an option for me. I need to do something. We're going to move into some of the benefits of a walk-in bathtub. Hydrotherapy is a big deal. There's lots of studies about hydrotherapy. The big deal about this slide, and certainly you can have your customers read this, but it's, it's um, the Arthritis Foundation <clears throat> knows that warm water works. They endorse hydrotherapy as a form of therapy. So... That's really the important part of this slide. More about the Arthritis Foundation, uh, talking about how many people have arthritis, and then, of, of course, what doctors recommend to treat arthritis. And again, that's that warm water therapy, that hydrotherapy, that a walk-in bathtub gives to our customers. How does it work? Now, being submerged in water, that creates the floating. You can read this uh, to your customers, explain this a little bit. It's all about soaking in water above your, above your waist, above your shoulders, having that floating sensation, taking pressure off the joints, promoting blood flow. That's what hydrotherapy does. Promoting blood circulation. Um, people with diabetes, they will tell you they've got neuropathy, their fingers, their toes go numb. Uh, this is why people end up losing their toes, their feet, their hands, 
to diabetes because they get a sore on the bottom of their feet most often and it just will not heal. There's not enough blood circulation for it to heal and it ends up so often taking the feet or toes of that individual that's having that problem with blood circulation. So again, what happens if let, let untreated, left untreated, the blood circulation, you can have your customers read that. You can talk a little bit more about that. Benefits of hydrotherapy for the lower back. Um, if you suffer from lower back pain, you know how nice it is to get into a jacuzzi type tub, a hot tub and enjoy that hydrotherapy, the jets, and so forth. This is really what our customers are purchasing is their own personal hot tub that uh, goes into their bathroom. That's the type of therapy we're talking about and relief we're talking about. There's benefits to insomnia. It helps people sleep better. If you're more relaxed, you, you have your muscles massaged with jets, um, soaking in that warm water at 104 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours before bedtime. It's going to lower your core body temperature uh, and draw blood from your brain, priming you for a restful sleep. So uh, very important for people with insomnia. Benefits for diabetes. We've talked about that a little bit. Uh, huge benefits for people with diabetes. For fibromyalgia, one of the big problems with fibromyalgia is when you do not sleep well at night, you have fibromyalgia flare-ups the next day, and they are painful. Uh, it's very difficult for people to deal with that pain. So sleep is so important for people with fibromyalgia to reduce their flare-ups. Uh, we've got air therapy. These tubs do have um, air jets as well. Air jets exfoliate the skin. Um, we've got a dual bidet, dual air jet bidet. Uh, it's, uh, we, we've got lots of air jets on the feet. Uh, these areas, it helps cleanse the skin. It really promotes much uh, better levels of personal hygiene. I think with the massage therapy with the, with the water jets, again, like getting a personal massage or sitting in a hot tub, really releases tension, promotes, re promotes relaxation, and so forth. Chromotherapy, this is a really neat therapy. Um, different hues of light in water uh, affect the brain in such a way it releases serotonin, dopamine, the feel-good chemicals, and rela helps relax the body even more and prime it for an even better night's sleep. Three ways to use your spa. You can take it. Uh, you can take a seated shower. So you can um, remove the hand shower, sit down, wash your hair, take a seated shower. You can take a stand-up shower. There's a, a well area where your feet go in the walk-in bathtub where you can stand and take a stand-up shower. Although this is not recommended, it can be done. And then, of course, the spa therapy treatment when you submerge yourself in water. Uh, the H-Series has won several awards. The threshold is actually lower than this now, so um, that's been uh, redesigned. But even with it designed the way that it was here, they won some 8X awards. Those are engineering awards. Uh, so really, uh, really neat stuff for the walk-in bathtub. It's got easy, clean acrylic tub shell. So if uh, it gets smudged up, it is made out of acrylic. Very easy to clean. Uh, stainless steel frame uh, versus a galvanized frame. And these feet go all the way through the frame instead of just in the base of the frame, giving greater stability um, to those feet, reducing the possibility of the walk-in bathtub leaking. And then of course, th this is the, the height of the step in now. The safety is the number one concern. We've got easy access panels to access any of the motors, the plumbing. So if there's ever an issue with the motor, it burns out. Very rarely does that happen, but if it does, we've got the easy access panels to be able to get in there, take the motor out, put a new one in. Here's some... Uh, 
testimonials from customers. They're wonderful. It's great to have these testimonials. Um, it really made a difference in these people's lives. So we are grateful that it did and uh, they were able to enjoy bathing again. Just a recap of what we've seen in the uh, PowerPoint so far. We're going to do everything in our power to help people afford this.